good morning good afternoon and good evening everyone so today i got galaxy s9 plus the evolution x android 13 rom is released for the galaxy s9 plus so today i will show how to flash yeah, the evolution x and y13 rom on galaxy s9 plus and one more thing that this rom will be flash and will be working those mobile phone of samsung like s9 or s9 plus or a note 9 which is having exynos chipset if your set is a snapdragon do not try to attempt this rom or flash to flashing this rom because this rom will not work on snapdragon the procedure of flashing the rom on galaxy s9 s9 plus or galaxy note 9 are same but you need to download recovery file and rom file according for, to your model so we'll start the procedure but before going ahead do not forget to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon and also click or tap the select all thank you i appreciate first of all i will go to my mobile phone settings then i will go to about phone and then we'll go to software information your galaxy S9, S9 Plus or Note 9 must be on the latest stock ROM and white version 10. And after the flashing of Evolution X ROM, the Galaxy S9 Plus, S9 or Note 9 will get updated from Android 10 to Android 13. And you can enjoy using the Android 13 updated application on your Galaxy S9, S9 Plus or Note 9. In case if your set is on Android 9, do not try to attempt this ROM, flashing or this ROM on your mobile phone. This ROM requires stock Android 10 and will not work if the set is on Android 9. Now you have to unlock the bootloader of your mobile phone also. Click the build number for seven times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the developer option will turn on. Go back to the main screen of settings, then uh, scroll down, tap the developer option, and turn on the OEM unlocking, because OEM unlocking is required to be turned on if you want to unlock the bootloader without unlocking bootloader you cannot flash the any custom recovery you cannot root or you cannot flash any custom rom the unlocking or relocking bootloader of uh, samsung phone is very easy go to settings and uh, check the account backup definitely you will be using google account sing your google account once and then remove it same same way if you are using Samsung account, you must sync the Samsung account and must remove it before flashing anything because if you did not remove this Samsung account, the flashing will not get done. This Samsung account will not let to flash anything on your mobile phone. Then turn off the lock screen password. Uh, select the uh, lock screen lock type swipe to turn off the lock screen password save all the internal storage data this uh, procedure will format everything and check the battery also to be charged minimum 50 to 60 percent now if your set bootloader is unlocked and you have saved all the data and all the rest thing you have done that i just informed then you can simply power off the mobile phone this procedure requires a data cable type c data cable and more computer now this is the official website of uh, evolution x rom and uh, if you if your set is galaxy s9 then simply click the link you will come here and uh, just click the download if you want to read uh, about ch the change log you can simply read it here now for the x9 plus link provided you can simply come here and click the download the rom will get start to download and for the galaxy note 9 come here and the galaxy note 9 official evolution x rom site will get open come down here you can uh, read the change log simply click on the download here the rom will start downloaded also the custom recovery links provided in my video description for s9 s9 plus and note 9 just uh, uh, want to inform you that do not try to attempt to flash the custom recovery or any rom like s9 rom on s9 plus because this will not work and also try to flash the recovery according to the model do not try to flash the s9 custom recovery on s9 plus i hope you got my point now we'll go to my downloaded folder i have already downloaded all the files evolution x rom for the uh, s9 plus the routing application the ordin ordin will be used for any 
three mobile phone like S9, S9 Plus. Uh, in fact, this Odin is can be used for any Samsung phones. The TWRP recovery, we have to download two files. One is the uh, same version. One will be in .img and the other will be .img dot tar we have to download two files of recovery first of all extract the odin file here in same folder and done then open the extracted folder of odin double click the odin file to open the application click ok on next window and the odin will get open now click ap here then go to the downloaded folder and you will see the twrp recovery file the one that dot img dot tar tar will be working with odin select the, this one this file and then click open the odin is ready now coming back towards my mobile phone we have to boot the set into odin mode so for that the phone must be power off what we have to do we have to hold the phone in both hands and then press and hold the volume down key then home key or you can say that bixby key volume down key bixby key and then power key hold it press you will see a warning screen then release all the keys you can see that warning screen then simply press the volume up key for once the set will boot it into Odin mode but still you cannot see it because the screen is very dim and very low light so press once the volume up key for once again and the screen will got light up now here i would like to inform that uh, if you can see that the model number and the uh, my set is on official and the kg state must be checking and bootloader is already unlocked and the frp lock must be turned off and oem lock must be also turned off now connect the cable with the mobile phone the computer will give you a sound and also the audience will show set is added and this is the sign com 20 the drivers is already installed also come to the options click on options and tick the auto reboot then come back to the lock and then click start to start the flushing of custom recovery and it will be done soon you can see pass message and succeed which means that recovery got flashed successfully click reset and click exit to come out from the Odin application come back to the downloaded folder now here is the part we have to boot the set into custom recovery this is a very tricky part must concentrate that what I am doing right now first of all take your mobile phone and uh, disconnect the cable from the mobile phone now for booting the custom uh, set into custom recovery we have to press all the keys like press and hold the volume up key then press and hold the volume uh, volume down key then press and hold the big speed key and then press and hold the power key when set gets reboot release the volume down key first i have released the volume down key and when logo appears release the power key do not release the other two keys until if you when you see the custom recovery screen we got the custom recovery screen i have released all the keys now on this screen simply swipe to allow modification then uh, tap wipe then tap format data type y e s then tap here we have to do it because the storage was uh, encrypted now the storage got decrypted uh, tap back come back to the main screen tap settings come to the third menu and um, make the brightness 200 also make the screen time out to 300 maximum come back to the main screen now connect the cable once again this time with mobile phone and after connecting it the cable with mobile phone the storage will appear on your appears on your computer screen we got the internal storage here come back to the downloaded folder and copy these three files first the rom file second the root the magis root file and the image file the custom recovery dot img file copy these files from the downloaded folder and then paste it on your mobile phone internal storage after when uh, all three files uh, gets copied 
you can simply disconnect the cable from the mobile phone and we are done right now from the computer but we will come back later when we flash the rom now coming back towards my mobile phone screen tap install first then tap install image here and you will see the recovery file dot img tap to select the recovery file then tap to select the recovery and swipe when it is done come back to the main screen tap reboot tap recovery let the set boot into custom recovery once again and again swipe to allow modification then uh, tap the settings and tap the third menu bring the brightness to maximum also the screen time out come back to the main screen type uh, tap wipe then tap advance wipe select first partition dalvik second system third vendor and uh, fourth cache do not select odm and data these five partitions need to be select you can see that dalvik system vendor cache and data right now swipe to start uh, formatting and when it is done come back to the main screen then tap install and uh, definitely you will see the recovery uh, sorry rom file over here tap to select the rom file then swipe to start flashing now it will take a time just wait for it let the flashing complete then i will continue now here i would like to inform you that when flashing gets completed you will see wipe the cache dalvik and reboot system now for those who do not want to root this rom they can simply tap to reboot system here the set will reboot and will start booting into android 13 evolution x rom and for those who want to root this rom they can now follow the further steps go back to the main screen main screen then tap advance tap file manager and come scroll down come down here you will see sd card tap to sd card the folder and definitely you will see all the files here tap the images file the dot apk file then tap rename file and erase the apk and type z i p we have to change the file name from uh, the file extension name from apk to zip then tap here swipe for confirmation now go back to the main screen again and tap install and you will see the magis file this time it was apk and this time we got the zip tap to select the root file and uh, swipe to start rooting or flushing the rooting file and when it is done now this time you can simply tap to reboot system the mobile phone will reboot and will start booting into evolution x rom the android 13 on galaxy s9 plus just wait it will not take that much long time just wait for it the first boot got completed it didn't took that much time the welcome screen appears complete the setup screen now finally the rom got flashed very perfectly i will go to mobile phone settings then i will go to about phone the model number is g965f i have a dual sim so both sim is and are working absolutely perfect tap the android 13 and you will see the about phone of the evolution x android 13 evolution x version is 7.2 the android security update patch date if you can see that 5th october 2022 the latest rom currently available for the s9 plus must see the baseband numbers below the baseband version must see the numbers so we got the rom flash perfectly now we have to uh, complete the routing procedure also first connect your mobile phone with internet either if you have a mobile data or if you are in a wi-fi zone connect your set with the wi-fi set is connected with wi-fi now come to the main screen and connect the cable once again with the mobile phone we have to copy one file scroll down the notification bar tap the charging this device via usb tap for more information then select the file transfer and the internal storage will got appear on 
for computer. We got the internal storage. Come to the downloaded folder and copy the Magis application, the APK file from the downloaded folder and paste it on internal storage of mobile phone. And when file got copied, then disconnect the cable from the computer, or oh sorry, for the mobile phone. And we are done finally from the computer. Now, coming back towards my mobile phone, uh, go to the menu, tap files to open the files application. Scroll down, tap internal storage, internet already connected. Scroll down and tap Magis application. You will see the APK extension. Tap to install this file on your mobile phone. Tap settings, then turn on, give the permission. And it will ask you to install. Yes, tap install. Go back and the Magis application will be installed. Now go back to the main screen. Come go to the menu. You will see the Magis uh, root application here. Tap to open the Magis application, then allow. And for additional setup, it, uh, it is requires to reboot. Tap OK to reboot. So the set got rebooted. Unlock the screen and go to the menu. Open the Magis application one, uh, once again. And we got the set rooted. Yes, if you can see uninstall magis and also if you tap the super user, if you tap the logs and if you tap the modules, you can see if your set is not put, uh, rooted, this these uh, menu will not be prominent. We'll go back to the home of uh, uh, the magis application, tap settings here and scroll down. Zygis option uh, is, is there. If you turn it on it will get turned on reboot to apply the changes you can simply configure the deny list like banking application those are banking application not working you can simply select those banking application from the list so it will also be running and will be working on the rooted mobile phone now the set got rooted but if you want to confirm like to want to confirm that the set is rooted 100% then simply uh, log into your Google account go to the Play Store and download the root checker application from the Google Play Store after downloading the root checker application from the Google Play Store go to the menu and you will see the root checker icon over here tap to so open the root checker application then tap to allow then tap agree and tap get started and then tap verify root super user request will come the window tap to grant this uh, window and definitely you will see the congratulations root access is properly installed on this device the uh, s9 plus and white version 13 model g965f so we got perfectly rooted the rom and we got uh, the rom flashed very perfectly we have the camera go the google camera application over here and also many applications are available with the with the rom if i go to the settings we got the uh, the modification section here you can modify this rom the way you want to use so the set is uh, updated from android 10 to android 13 the evolution x if you got help by this video do not forget to like the video and subscribe my channel thank you we'll see you again goodbye